10 to 20% of the population have this hormone imbalance and it's called hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, what is it? It's a state of low thyroid function and it's almost always caused by an autoimmune disease. Your thyroid controls and regulates just about every single system in your body. When your thyroid is low, your entire body will slow down. This includes heart rate, brain function, metabolism, energy, and so on. Even small changes in your thyroid function can result in big symptoms that you will feel on a daily basis. You might think this isn't a problem because your doctor will be able to test for this, but you couldn't be more wrong. Unfortunately, most doctors focus on other hormone imbalances like diabetes, so thyroid patients get left in the dust. In addition, most doctors focus on ordering the wrong tests, so even if they do check for your thyroid, you're very likely to be told that your thyroid is normal when in fact it's not. That's the bad news. The good news is that you can often tell if you have this hormone imbalance simply by looking at your symptoms. Let's start with the first and biggest symptom of hypothyroidism, and that's weight gain. The first sign that your thyroid is out of whack is often unexplained weight gain. If you've been gaining weight because you've not been exercising and because you've been eating a ton of unhealthy food, that's not an unexplained weight gain. But on the other hand, if you haven't made any changes to your lifestyle and you see that scale creeping up and up slowly over time, that's a major problem. When it comes to your thyroid, hypothyroid patients often gain about 10 to 15 pounds of unexplained weight gain. This weight is usually, but not always, evenly distributed across your entire body. But let me be clear, low thyroid states can also cause abnormal weight gain on places like your arms, your belly, your thighs, and even your butt region. This weight gain occurs because your thyroid controls and regulates your metabolism. When thyroid function drops, your metabolism will drop in lockstep and you will gain weight without making any changes to your lifestyle. Next, you want to look at the health of your hair, skin, and nails. You can tell a lot about the health of a person by looking at these areas. Problems in your hair, skin, and nails are often the first sign that something is wrong on the inside of your body. And when it comes to your thyroid, the best place to look are your eyebrows. If you are experiencing eyebrow hair loss on the lateral one-third of your eyebrows, that is a very sensitive sign that your problem is related to your thyroid. The reason is there are so few things that cause hair loss in this particular area. But in addition to your eyebrows, you can also look at the hair on your head. Hypothyroidism causes a diffuse hair loss which occurs across the entire area of your head. This type of hair loss is known as telogen effluvium. If you notice that your hair is coming out after a shower or when you comb your hair, this may be a sign that your hair is having problems transitioning from the resting phase to the growth phase. And this is a very common sign of hypothyroidism. Lastly, you wanna take a look at the overall health of your skin. When your thyroid is low, you will experience dry or cracked skin all over. But more than this, you might notice that you're not sweating as much or that the overall quality and texture of your skin has changed for the worse. While looking at your hair, skin, and nails is helpful, this next symptom might even be more useful. And that's number three, cold hands or cold feet. If you are somebody who wears socks to bed, especially in the summer, you are very likely somebody with a thyroid problem. In fact, I call this symptom the positive sock sign. The same goes for you if you are somebody who is always wearing extra layers or sweaters during the summer. When thyroid function declines, it slows down your body's ability to generate heat. So you'll end up with cold hands and cold feet. But more importantly, you also end up with an intolerance to this cold sensation. So if getting cold makes you angry or irritable, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And this symptom is called cold intolerance. And just like eyebrow hair loss, it's very specific to thyroid problems. The next place to look is at the base of your neck, and this is number four. Anatomically speaking, your thyroid rests at the base of your neck, which is right here. This is both good and bad. Good because it means that you can more easily identify bumps and swelling in the thyroid gland, and bad because of its location in your neck, if it gets swollen, it can cause all sorts of problems to nearby structures. Sometimes, though not always, patients with hypothyroidism may experience swelling directly in their thyroid gland. 
This swelling most often occurs with conditions like Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And because of this swelling, your thyroid gland may put pressure on your vocal cords, which may result in the change of your voice. For this reason, low thyroid states have the potential to cause hoarseness. If you're a singer or somebody who uses their voice for their employment, then this is a symptom that you will probably notice right away. But for others, it may go completely unnoticed or may not be that big of a deal. But what is a big deal is what your thyroid does to your brain, which is number five. Hypothyroidism can lead to mood changes and brain fog. Do you remember when I said earlier that when your thyroid slows down, it slows down everything in your body? This includes your brain function and cognition. Patients with hypothyroidism often notice that their brain is just more sluggish than usual. They aren't able to recall words or phrases like they once could. They can't think clearly for long periods of time, and they even have trouble concentrating. This isn't ADD, this is your thyroid. Not only will your thyroid impact brain function, but it can also impact and change your mood. There is a clear connection between anxiety and depression and people who have hypothyroidism. If you feel like you're not quite yourself, or maybe somebody else has noticed that there's a change in your personality, it may be related to your thyroid. Number six on the list would be muscle aches and pains. This one is a little bit different from the other, so let me explain. When your thyroid is low, your muscles lose their ability to relax. When this happens, you'll end up with painful trigger points in your muscle belly, which can be identified by poking around on your muscles. If you start poking around after I just said that and you find an exquisitely tender point, that's a trigger point. It's important to note that trigger points aren't always related to thyroid problems. But if you are somebody who notices you have a lot of these trigger points and you also have many of the other symptoms that we've already discussed, then it's very likely that these two things are related. Another big indicator that you have a thyroid problem is constipation. The easiest way to tell if you have a healthy gut is by looking at your bowel movements. You don't have to physically look at them, but you should be aware of how frequently they come. If you aren't having at least one bowel movement every day that comes easily and without strain, you have a problem. Your thyroid controls the rhythmic motion of your bowels known as peristalsis. And when thyroid function drops, your gut will slow down. This sets the stage for constipation and the development of other gut problems like overgrowth syndromes. Many of the symptoms we've discussed so far have overlap with other medical problems. So if you wanna be sure that they are related to your thyroid, then you have to add up your symptoms. If you find that you have three or more of the symptoms that we've just discussed, it is very likely that you have a thyroid problem. If on the other hand, you only have one or two of the symptoms that we've discussed, then you'll want to confirm that you have a thyroid problem with lab testing. It may be the case that you are just catching your thyroid problem early, or it may be the case that you have another medical problem, but either way, you'll want to know. And if you do have hypothyroidism, then you'll want to check out this video out next to learn how to fix it.